Hey everyone, it's uh, Frank from Minnesota Camping, and uh, we just got back from a three-day trip to uh, the Superior Hiking Trail up in uh, northern Minnesota. Uh, I have a video on that too, I'm not sure which one of these will get posted first, but uh, as I was cleaning up, I ran into the problem that I always run into after a camping trip, whether it be with my kids or anything, and that's uh, just basically cleaning up. I hate cleaning up. Uh, it always takes such a hassle to get everything dry, clean. I got my tent upstairs already dry, my sleeping bags laid out. Uh, but my real problem is these plastic bags. Uh, I use a lot of platypuses and plastic bags to save weight. Um, even my, uh, I use the, my filter as a platypus. And these things take forever to dry. Um, you can't get your hand inside of them. And even, uh, and there's just no way to dry them. These things have been drip drying for 45 minutes. They barely look like anything's um, out of them. You can, I know, it just takes forever. I've, you, I've tried different methods and just nothing works. So uh, I came up with this. Well, I didn't come up with it. This was something that I, I got the idea from boot and mitten warmers. And I thought, well, why can't we do the same thing with these things? So I built this little contraption. This is just using PVC pipe. Uh, I won't get too much into the uh, construction of it because it's, it's a, I think a two and a half inch PVC pipe, PVC pipe, so one inch pipe, and they're all just put together. Um, so all I did was, I mean, they just cut a length, uh, capped off one end, and then left the other end just so my hair dryer could fit in there. I mean, obviously, that's what I'm gonna use for a source of heat, and that just sticks in there like that, you know? Uh, and then I just cut this uh, PVC pipe, cleaned it up, and, um, and then uh, just cut it. And I didn't really even glue anything together. These tops come off, um, these come out. Uh, the only thing I did glue in were these elbows. These are those little elbows that once I drilled into the side of this PVC pipe, uh, I didn't want them to move around. And they, the hole was a little bit bigger than these actual fittings. So, uh, so I kept those glued in. But everything else is kind of interchangeable. And that, what that allows me to do is change the sizes. You know, if I wanted to make a couple more of these big tall ones or smaller ones, or even plug them off, I can just put them on, like one of these on there and just cap them off so they don't blow anything at all. And uh, so I'm going to just see how this, I mean, I've used it before, but not, uh, I haven't had this much stuff. So uh, in all the bags, I usually use it with more of the hard plastic bottles, which aren't usually an issue. These, these dry up fast, but, um, and, you know, they just basically sit on here like that. Uh, but to be honest, these will dry in your normal dryer pretty quickly. It's the bags that I have a problem with. So as you can see, these just slip over the top. These are the platypus. These are my 100 ounce uh things that I use in my bag to uh, thing so these are all washed up and we'll go on like that uh, this one is the uh, for the filtration system that one can go here I could probably make a couple more of these uh, these size ones because these bags fit on there nice too and then this like I said this is I made this a couple weeks ago maybe maybe even longer and so I haven't used it a ton because I don't camp a lot in the summertime but uh, but yeah, so there's that. Um, this I didn't make a bag for. This is the one I use for my dirty, uh, my garbage bag, so to speak. But I do keep it. So I'm going to put that over three of them. Um, and actually, you know what I'll do? I'll pop the tops off so it blows more heat up so I can get all of it instead of just the sides. Oh, and then these side holes I just drilled uh, randomly. I mean, it, it's there's not a whole lot to it. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. But um, it does work. So we'll stick that like that. And then tubes, I've never actually... Uh, tried to clean tubes but we can um oops. we can probably pop the top off a couple more of these and we'll just uh, you know we'll stick a tube in there and see how it dries out i don't know if these uh i don't know if these other platypus ones will fit in there i might have to make a maybe an adapter for that because these don't just blow straight through it would get air would get trapped so i'm going to leave those off for now until i find a better way to do it let those drip dry. So there we go. Look at that. It's all set up. I don't know if you can see that, but got one, two, three, four, five, six bags on there, a couple tubes. And uh, like I said, this is, I mean, you can see, you can see the water in these things, but the, uh, they're not dry. So we're going to put it on this uh, hair dryer thing, turn it on. Um, I've never melted anything on here. I think that's why I got the long tube in that, but I'm still going to keep the uh, heat at medium. And we'll put the speed at uh, high and we'll uh, give it about 10, 15 minutes and check on a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's been less than 20 minutes, only about maybe 15. And uh, these are completely dry, pretty much. I did come down at about 10 minutes just to check on them. 
um, drop in there. But, uh, and kind of moved them around a little bit. I, can, I moved this one and this one around because they weren't really getting dry in the real, these things got some horrible tight corners, but everything else, I mean, even this tube, I moved the tubes around a little bit too, are pretty much, I have a little bit of water in the tube yet. Um, this thing is dry, but still, I mean, I could keep them on for a little bit longer, but these are pretty much dry. Oh, and then I also came down and changed it from high heat to low heat uh, because, like I said, they were uh, they weren't melting, but they were they were warm. And like I said, these are pretty much dry. There's hardly any water. What I'll probably do is just shake them all a little bit, get the water, any loose water that's in there. Um, but if you can see in there, there's no droplets, nothing like it was before. So, like I said, it does work. I think it's. Uh, at least it's helpful for you know speeding things up a little bit even if uh, even if it doesn't get them completely dry. So that is my homemade bottle slash hydration bottle dryer. So thanks for watching.